Okay guys, so we are going to take a look at the next wallflower box. Um, and before I open this, i just going to kind of mention a couple of things. So the wallflower box is designed for people who kind of consider themselves to be introverts. Um, it's, it's kind of catered to replenishing an introvert soul. Um, there are a lot of things that introverts need in terms of, you know, kind of how they replenish and recharge. And this is kind of a nod in that direction. Um, one of the, the neat things about their subscription is they have a, a offer an option where, um, if you post a review of their box on their Facebook page, they give you the opportunity to win a free box, um, you know, by random drawing. And so I did win that, which is nice, but I'm a little confused because I got a notification that I won that and that there was a free box coming and that I was going to get a refund for, I had signed up for my three month subscription and, and the third box was the one that was pending when they told me that I won the drawing. Um, and so what they told me was that I was getting the next box and that I was going to be refunded what I had paid for that third box in the subscription. And that box is actually sitting right over there, um, which I haven't gotten to yet. And um, it's currently buried under a couple things, which is why we're doing this one first. Uh, but anyway, then like earlier this week, I got another notice saying, hey, congratulations, you won for the March box. And then I got a thing that said that my box had been refunded and then this box arrived and this is a different color a little bit than the other box so I don't know if I got two of the same boxes or if they credited me for two boxes which shouldn't have happened because I didn't win it twice I only so anyway I'm going to have to contact them and clear that up because I really enjoyed the box and as much as I would love to get two free boxes, of course, who wouldn't love to get two free boxes? But um, but if there was an error there, I definitely don't want them to be shortchanging themselves on this. Um, I don't think I was intended to get two free boxes. So that's issue number one. So I will take care of that and clear that up and find out what's going on with that. The other thing is, is that uh, I noticed with this particular box, it's got some tape on it from the Postal Service saying that it was received in damaged condition. Um, so the box itself is taped shut. The box is very heavy and I don't hear anything broken or see or smell anything like it's, you know, leaking or anything, but I'm hoping that whatever's in here is actually intact and that's what we're about to find out. So. After all of that has been said, if you are interested in the wallflower box, definitely go check it out, especially if you, you yourself, or you know someone who is um, kind of an introvert in your life, and you know, you want to kind of take care of them or yourself and make sure that you are getting what you need to kind of replenish your soul, um, this might be a fun option for it, because it, what I what I found is that the items that come in these boxes uh, tend to kind of help me with the kind of self-pampering, self-care kinds of things that I need. For those of you who are introverts of my type, you will probably understand this. I work in a customer service field. I work in it. I'm very good at what I do. Um, I am a, what some people might call a social introvert. I don't mind talking to people. I don't mind going to events or doing things by myself. It's just, that's not how I get recharged. I need a lot of alone time and quiet time to do that. That's how I refuel. And that's what prepares me to be able to take on these things. So it's not that I don't like people. It's just some people get a lot of energy 
out of being at events and being with people and meeting people and, and that sort of thing, I'm the opposite. That drains my energy. I enjoy the, the experience of it, but I then need to have downtime and charge. So uh, what I'll tell my friends sometimes is, you know, and I've had a really busy time at work and, and they want to get together over the weekend, I'll just tell them, you know what, guys, I need a day or two where I just don't people. I need to not people this weekend. And they know how I operate and they know that that's what I mean by that. So maybe some of you can relate to that experience. But anyway, that's what I kind of find this box to be helpful for um, is just kind of giving me the fun stuff and the pampering stuff to give myself those five minutes or extra hour or whatever it is that I need to just recharge. So let's take a look at this box and see what was in here. So what usually comes is like an inspiration card from the owners of the box. It just kind of, you know, gives you some reflective thoughts about what was included in the box or some of the unique things about being an introvert. Um, and then there's a spoiler card, which we're not going to look at right now. Um, oh, it looks like we got a couple of recipes this time. So we got a recipe for fettuccine alfredo. And we got a recipe for cherry cobbler. So that's very nice. Those are both things that I enjoy eating. Um, next up, we have a couple of business cards for, I'm assuming, some of the things that are in here. So we have a business card for Luminate skincare products. So I'm guessing there's some sort of moisturizer or lotion in here. And we also have one for handmade luxury body care from mypreservecompany.com. It looks like there's a little code on there. I don't know if that's a one-time use only or what, but there you go if you want to go check it out. All right, first thing aside from the cards that we have in this box is, oh, it looks like it's a little um, journal, a spiral bound notebook, which comes with a pen. That's always handy. And it's got, oh, it's an unlined notebook, which is not my preference. It's a little bit more like a sketchbook than a notebook. So I prefer lined paper, but it's okay. It's all right. The size of it's good for throwing in a purse or a bag. So, you know, last minute grocery lists or just food for thought kind of things. Um, that's kind of neat. And I do like the fact that there's a pen included and attached. So that's always nifty. That'll definitely be used. All right, next up we have a couple of dishes, which I'm guessing are supposed to be what is partnered with the cherry cobbler recipe. <laughs> Looks like we have a couple of small ramekins. There you go. We got two of them. Something that smells kind of soapy, so I don't think that's the ramekin itself, but there you go. All right. So that might be for the cherry cobbler recipe that we're going to have to make at some point. Next up, we have some hand and foot balm in refreshing mint, which might explain the scent that I'm getting. And it's a really good size. Yep. So it's just kind of like a little cream, a little pepperminty cream. And this will be really nice for my feet, which get very dried out. And now we have another little tin, and this is, if I can read it, Belusia, Belusia. And it's a candle that smells kind of pepperminty. That's interesting. Ah, that's why. Mint and Rose Quartz Wellness Candle. So it looks like it's one of those candles that as it melts down it's going to give me a bunch of little stones Oop, and I can hear it rattling around 
It actually smells really, really good. It actually smells like, um, like ice cream. I know that sounds weird, but it smells like mint ice cream. So I want to lick it. <laughs> I'm not going to lick it, but I want to lick it. So, all right. Next up, we have something in paper. Feels like a jar of something. Bath salts. Yes, it looks like bath salts. Very Mary Cranberry body scrub. Oh, it's a body scrub. Very cool. All right. So there you go. There's the label. There you go. Mmm, that smells really good. So that'll be a nice little bath time pampering thing. And there's a lot of stuff in this box, by the way. It's not cheap by box standards or subscription boxes are concerned, so do know that it's not like a $10 box. But, again, if you're looking for something to help kind of pamper your soul or your loved one's soul, somebody who's an introvert, this is a cool thing to have. All right, next up we have a blossom kit. So it's just a little grow your own little plant. Enjoy your blossom kit. It includes a seed packet, peat pellet, wooden cube planter, and protective plant liner. Does it say what kind of plants are in there? Nope. It doesn't. It's going to be a surprise. So that'll be cute. It's springtime, so it's a good time to start planting something. We have another little jar. This one from Luminate. Rejuvenating Rose Cream. Brighten and Revitalize. Let's see what this one smells like. Mm, it definitely does smell like roses. So there you go. Here's the cream. And this one, this the scent of this makes me think of my mom. My mom was definitely a rose woman. And so I always think of my mom when I smell roses. It smells, that smells really, really nice. And that'll be a really nice thing, again, going into springtime. So, very excited to have that. And, uh, we're not done. There's one more thing, I think. Um, and a lot of times the boxes will include, like, books or journals. And it looks like this time there, it is no exception. We have The Quiet Rise of Introverts, Eight Practices for Living and Loving in a Noisy World. By Brenda Knowles. So I am a very big reader. I enjoy reading all kinds of books, including self-help books. So I will enjoy this over uh, many evenings as I, you know, I, I like to read right before I go to sleep. It just kind of makes me, gives me that transition between crazy work, life, and going to sleep and my in-between period is you know half an hour to an hour if I can of reading and so this will be put to good use all right I think that's everything in this month's wallflower box so we got the book we got a couple of cooking items with the recipes we got several bath items with the scrub and the lotion and the candle which can be used in either location kitchen or bathroom um, and of course just the you know the quiet growing of the plant and the the notepad so it kind of touches all the different little points that an introvert might need in order to rejuvenate themselves so that's the wallflower box and I'm glad to see that nothing was damaged from the mailing and again I really enjoyed it um, I'm definitely gonna connect with them to find out what's going on with the the credit to make sure that they are not giving me back more money than they should but um, yeah that's all I have to say we'll see you next time bye